Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use uh, zone creation and zone management inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what are zones? Zones are uh, specific parts of the board that uh, we can define a different stack up area in. So it's almost like a, a cross section by zone or by area. And what we do is we use this in conjunction with uh, the zone manager. We also use uh, the cross section editor to define the different cross sections. So if we get a setup and cross section, or we use the icon up here to in invoke the cross section of the PCB. This is obviously the layers, um, the masks, etc. We have an all stack ups area, and then I've effectively got some, some different uh, stack ups defined. So I've got a primary stack up defined, which is a six layer board with some solder mask, silk screen, and paste mask for top and bottom. I've got a, effectively a flexi one, which is um, using the inner two layers, silk screen, uh, not it was, uh, adhesives and cover layers for top and bottom of, of either side of that flexi. That's going to come out of the inner board, so it's going to be a rigid flexi stack up. I've got a flexi stiffener, um, so effectively the same two inner layers with adhesives and cover layers, but on one side of it I've got um, a stiffener section, almost like a, to, just so I can mount a connector onto it. And then I've also got an LCD, uh, LCD stiffener, which effectively has a, a stiffener section on the top side of the board, um, which allows me to effectively mount the LCD on the other side of the board. So um, some different options here. There are other videos showing you how to kind of build the multiple different stack ups, but basically we can literally just click on add to create new stack up. If you don't see that add option, if you go to the view menu, there's a multi stack ups mode that allows you to go and add the multiple stack ups. When you add the stack ups, effectively you get this all stack ups option with all the different stack ups here. And these are just tick boxes that turn on the layers on and off. So you can see obviously my paste mask, silk screen, solder mask are on these layers, but they're not on any of my flexi sections. So once you have your stack ups, we then use the zone manager to effectively um, to draw or divide the board into the different sections of the of the different stack ups that we need. So if you look at the colors, there's two important colors here, um, rigid flex. So under the, the main filter, there's a rigid flex section. There's something called zone outline. This actually defines the outline. And if you look at geometry and board geometry, we've got one called design outline. So your board profile must be using this design outline layer now if you want to use the flexi ridges because we use this to, to build the zone outlines basically. Um, so design outline um, has kind of superseded the outline layer. The difference between the outline and design outline is the design outline must be a, a, a closed shape. So it must be a, a defined closed shape. You better use this, okay? So if I just turn all the colors off and we look at, um, turn on the zone outline. I've got a couple of zones here already that I've defined earlier on. And if we just look at our design outline, you can see effectively, so I've got the primary PCB, a flexi section here and a flexi stiffener that I want to go and create, okay? So um, let's just go back to our default demo view. So I want to create the zones and the way I would do that is set up zones and create. If I look at the options pane, I get choices for the option for the name of the zone and effectively the stack up that I want to choose. So it gives me a list of all the, the four available stack ups. So in this scenario, it's gonna be the primary part of my PCB. And then I can either do a right mouse button, add rectangle or add shape. Um, if it's already in add rectangle mode, I can just left click and away I go. So I can just left click here. Um, and I didn't, don't need to be precise about where I choose because it will actually use the design outline. But what I'm going to do here is I am going to be specific because I don't want it to kind of cross over there. Because um, I want the, 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 the line between effectively the primary and the flexi to be this joining line here. So it effectively joins through the middle of this, this area here. So we'll do a right mouse button, snap pick to intersection. So that then you can see that the, the zone outline um, almost shrink wraps to the, to the design outline. Um, giving me a, a complete line down the edge of there. So once I've done that, I want to do, it goes on to the next zone number. So this time I want to be the flexi. So for the flexi section, well, let's do um, let's do the flexi stiffener first. Because the flexi stiffener, I can literally just do um, a rectangle around there. I want it to snap onto that one. So right mouse button, snap, pick to uh, segment vertex. That gives me zone six. And then for zone seven, this, this kind of flexi area, I can literally just do, um, so let's go and choose uh, flexi one. I can be random with the way I draw this because it's just going to take the other outline. So as long as I'm the other side of that zone and the other side of that zone, it will just consume to the design outline. So that effectively gives me my seven zones. So um, if I go to set up zones and manage, I get a list of all the zones that are available to me. So I can look at the different zones. I can change the stack up. So if I've got the zones and the stack ups wrong, I can go and define these. So zone six, um, we can actually rename these as well. So this is the main PCB. Sorry, zone five was the main PCB.
This one here was the flexi. This one here was a flexi connector one. So you'll see when I apply these changes, it updates that name in the zone. So you can actually, you could output this information to you. You can also use things like constraint regions and placement rooms for these areas. So my flexi, for example, would use a flexi constraint region. So I get a rules by area in that area when I'm routing. Okay, so really, really useful function. And obviously editing things like these, the best way to do that is use the shape edit application mode. So um, shape edit application mode. And then there's an enable zone boundary editing here. So I can enable the zone boundary editing and then do whatever I needed to do if I needed to add a notch. I could uh, click on the items and add a notch and do whatever I needed to do.